You're watching Drake Wing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey you guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. Some of you may on Twitter the gaming drag today. I'm coming. Okay, today I'm coming back at another Let's Play episode of Beyond the Harbor. So, sorry y'all, I just got a text. <laughs> Beyond the Harbor. So let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Alarm chain, you are up, and let's go. Alright. <clears throat> back into the eerie creepiness of whatever lies out beyond the harbor. <clears throat> Even if you hadn't called me crying last night, I would have known exactly how he got it. I'm gonna kill that man. I'm gonna end his fucking life. Despite my wayward thoughts, I smiled at the iguana offering him a hand. It's okay, come on. Sam's gonna get himself in trouble if we don't keep an eye on him, don't you think? Trev sniffles, wiping a tear away from his eye. There's not a drop of hostility in my voice. I'm sure he's picked it up. After briefly hesitating, he takes my hand in his own. Yeah, good idea. Dear Trevor, oh my god, he's precious. Stepping into the cafe proper, I'm blasted with the overwhelming sense of, uh, people. People sitting and talking, people waiting in lines, people coughing. I guess it's been a while since I've been here. Forgot how busy it could get. Sam leads the charge in and a, a good deal ahead of us. Trevor, on the other hand, is staying close to me. I flick my tail back a bit more than I usually do and it brushes against him. Yeep! Huh, <laughs> sorry Trev, I didn't know you were that close. Heh. <laughs> Heh, <laughs> um... He coughs. Where did you want to sit? The iguana scans the dining area, using his height to his advantage. I'm a little jealous of tall guys like him. Though being short has its advantages sometimes. Do you see any booths that are open? A clean one, preferably. He perks up and brings a scaly finger to his mouth. Well, I'm looking for a half booth with a chair. Um, if that's okay with you, I need a chair with a big enough opening to fit my tail through. I nod and slow my pace a bit. I've always taken my own manageable tail for I've always taken my own manageable tail for granted. Clothes shopping would probably be a nightmare for Trev if his dad didn't pass all his clothes off to him. The downside of that being that Trev dresses like an asshat. Oh, there's one. I turn back to the imposing figure standing behind me as he pointed as he points his clawed figure finger to a secluded section of seats in the corner. Is that okay? I shrug. I can't really tell from here, but I assume so if it's up to your standards. Trev gives off another awkward chuckle and puts an arm behind his head. I mean... He cuts himself off with a small laugh. <laughs> I, uh... His eyes widen suddenly as he clutches his pocket for his life. I'm sorry, I have to run to the restroom. I blink. Oh, uh, sure? He nods quickly and trots off. I'll reserve a table. Come find me when you get back, okay? A response, even though I'm pretty sure he heard me. I shake my head. Hope he's okay. I step into the dining area. Now that I'm actually in here, it doesn't feel nearly as crowded as I expected it to be. Despite that, though, there are still next to no seats available. No desirable ones, anyways. Second you know. Water 10. <sighs> there are a few half booths available near the window, though upon closer inspection, they're all pretty gnarly looking. Maybe I can wipe one of them down myself. I groan. Ugh, fucking... I throw my hands up and turn around. There's usually a napkin dispenser over by the drinks, right? Does this store even have a drink station? After a bit of wandering, I find it. Instead of the usual soda dispensers, however, there are big vats full of different types of lemonade and tea. How many types of lemonade do you need anyways? Citrus? A guava? A blood orange? Hmm. Besides, if you're adding other fruits, doesn't it become punch? Or was it punch only if you've added alcohol? No, it's definitely punch without uh, it's punch without the alcohol. Yuck, alcohol fucking sucks. Makes me think of that time we stole Don's mom's vodka and... Ollie? Ollie? Hello? Eh? Oh! Oh, okay, wow, her sprite is vastly different. The imposing bear sitting before me breaks my train of thought. Wait, what was I thinking about again? Oliver Blanche? Hey, hello! She waves her hand in front of my face. I can smell whatever soap she's been using. It's kind of subtle, but flowery. Oliver, are you all there? I blink a few times before she truly re before she fully registers in my brain. Oh, V! She frowns and holds her arms across her chest. Ye! Yeesh, that's only become- that's become worse since I moved out. What am I gonna do with you, space rat? We were supposed to meet outside, remember? Oh, shit. I, um... So I waited around for a few minutes, and but you never showed. I tried texting you. I reach into my pocket to check my phone and hold down the power button. Nothing. 
Fuck. So you... She stops herself. She stops herself with a sigh, resigning whatever anger she was harboring for the time being. Ugh. She rubs her temples with her fingers. I'm sorry. This hasn't been the best week for me, if you can tell. I frown, but feel relief wash over me as her anger subs subsides into something else entirely. A disappointment can't cave my face in. If there's any one person I fear, truly fear that is, it's her. So, what were you doing exactly? You've been staring at that lemonade for like at least a minute. And no, that doesn't count for the amount of time you've been Time you had possibly been staring before I walked over here. Open my mouth to reply, but she cuts me off. Whatever, it's not important. Do you at least have a table reserved already? I look over her shoulder at the table I thought I'd claimed to see if it was still untouched. There was a lone cat sitting at it. Fuck, 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 fuck. I never told her Sam would be here. She's, she's in a bad mood. And he's being, he's being pissy. As soon as he opens his mouth, she's going to murder him. <sighs> You know. Not if he's smart. If he's a smart kitty, he'll survive the night. But if he's a dumb kitty, that pussy is dead. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Who am I? I'm gonna witness a murder today. Yo, V. Looks like he actually made it. Oh God. He gets. He gets up and walks over. Sam. Samuel Wong? Her expression shifts from one of surprise to one of anger. What? Why are you here? Was that a tea kettle in the background? <laughs> Not that I'm shocked to see you skipping classes on a Friday. He raises his chin and slits his eyes, tilting his head at an angle. The cat may as well have a knife pointed at him, but he smirks in the face of imminent death. That's Sam, all right. Oh, not a lot. I just thought it'd be a good weekend to catch up with Ollie, so I was on my way out to surprise him. Funny seeing you here, though. Say, did you follow me? V's face, V's face goes dark, a silent expression of rage. I hold my breath as she slowly raises her arm to point at Sam. I can practically see the sparks dance across her hand as the, we as the welling energy inside stirs. The cafe shakes. Lines blink and stutter. The cafe patrons look on in horror as the anger steeping out of V causes the earth below her feet to erupt. Unending hatred oozes from the darkness permeating her face. Her eyes are no longer those of a mortal, but those of a vengeful god. Sam, Sam, though, always wanted to laugh in the face of danger, takes another step towards his demise. Hey, now, what's that look for? Aren't you happy to see me? I can only watch him dread as the feline seals his fate. The Arnold returns. He's a dead man. May you find peace in the afterlife. Not from my near-silent prayer, and... He breathes. In the time between the seconds, the gods have mercy. The volcano ceases erupting, and the coming tsunami is halted. The world won't end after all. Not today. No, I am not happy to see you. She shakes her head. If you're out of the loop, this isn't a good weekend. But of course, you found your way into the loop, didn't you? He places his hands on his hips and sticks out his tongue. I did. I'm pretty good at that, wouldn't you think? He says that, but he doesn't. A little too well for your own good. It's gonna get you incarcerated one of these days. Her face goes dark again before she resumes speaking. But never mind that. You want to tell me why you're here? Sam smiles and beckons back to the table with his tail. Please, allow me to enlighten you, milady. I steadily down my water as V settles further into her seat. Sam's taken to tapping his fingers on the table to the tune of the radio. I know what it is about water, but nothing is more refreshing these days. This music is really good. I totally didn't steal it. Is filling the water cup I found on the floor stealing anyways? I still haven't seen Trev since we came in. I hope he's doing okay. Probably got a call from Dad. Oh, I'm sorry. Asshole Senior. Hoping is all I can do, really. I'm just glad V wasn't particularly angry when I told her he tagged along, too. They got along. They get along fine, I guess. So then. The cat's ears perk up and his eyes lock with V's. I think I already said it, but it's good to see you, Ollie. The overwhelming intensity of the polar bear's eyes turned to me, leaving Sam to bite the dust. It's, um, it's good to see you too, V. The cat's posture drops a bit, but V isn't paying attention. She elegantly takes a sip, into her, sip of her coffee, peeking out as she holds the cup. Hmm. I wish circumstances were better, though. I nod, folding my arms. 
I'm still happy to see you. It's been, what, two years? She thinks for a second, and after the gears of her head turn, she opens her mouth, for, mouth to answer. Not one to resign to, to his fate, though. Sam takes this opportunity to interject. Three, actually. It came up last night I was visiting Ollie. Last time I was visiting Ollie. You know, last year. Her eyes narrow, but she doesn't silence him. Not yet. I try to keep Ollie cut up, you know. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to keep him out of too out of the loop. I mean, poor guy he never hears from his best friends. Sam, it's a good thing he knows me. Otherwise, he probably wouldn't have known you were closer to your bachelors. The cat cuts V off completely and utterly leaves her dumbfounded. And what about your title, huh? You were bragging all over campus that no one could. I mean it when I say it. Her words echo as a low growl, and the fur on the back of my neck stands on edge as I hear it. Sternly, she turns her head back to me. I'm sure this brat has been talking all kinds of trash about me. He's not entirely wrong, though. I'm sorry we haven't caught up in a while, Ollie. You know how it is. Skull eats up nearly all of my time. And if you have any free time, you're training, right? She nods. Yep, exactly. You know how it is. Now more than ever. The light in her eyes fades a good deal as she breathes out. What about you, though? How have you been keeping busy? Have you been working or studying? <sighs> Sam laughs and we both turn and we both turn back to him. <laughs> Holly working? There's no way. Guy had crumpled into a ball the second anyone tried to employ him. I roll my eyes. He's not entirely wrong though. Considering how well I deal with Feast Sternus, I could only imagine how rough I'd have it with some holier than thou manager. The bear isn't one to shrug off Sam's interjection though. You don't have to be such an ass about it, Wong. She places a hand on my shoulder, and I flinch instinctively. You're capable. You just have to put yourself out there. School is an option, too, though. I'm sure you're applicable for financial aid, and your parents would be more than happy to help you pay for the rest. I know. I just don't don't know what I'd go for. She lets go of me and folds her arms. You're still writing, aren't you? Your poems? Sam perks up at the mention of my old hobby. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I forgot about that shit. Well, I don't... I swear to God, do you have to be so rude all the time? Yeah, Sam's a bit of a dick. Sam turns his nose up at the bear. You say that like I was being awful. This is how Ollie and I normally talk. You're the one who, you're the one over here forcing him around, trying to get him to get a job or whatever. He didn't ask you to be his mom, V. Oh, of course. What was that? Oh, of course, but why would you and you... Ooh. Uh-oh, spaghetti -o. <coughs> oh, okay. I clasp my head in my hands as the painful throbbing within intensifies. The air itself is on fire, and the cafe drips like wax into a melting mass of darkness. I cling to the table for what life I still live, as every living body is thrown into the mess. Oh my. My brain erupts into a cacophony of aching echoes entombed with its suffering, with the spiders resting inside set to work, laying their silk across the folds that no thought could possibly escape through. The pattern of activity is nothing new to me, and blank thoughts and ache, and trapped in a prison of my own making. Yeesh. Oh, God. The world dims yet further as I hold my head here, attempting to keep it affixed to my neck. Right on time, that curious sensation. The weight is intensified as I gain their support. The hands holding my head double, triple, quadruple. An infinite number of spindly fingers supporting my descent into thoughtlessness. The voice, just on the brink of thoughts, speaks in a raspy tone I'm all too familiar with. Hey, Sam, you... Ollie, are you okay? Oh, I'm going to pause it right there. Oh, God, that was weird. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. Before I go, I'm going to give a quick shout-out to our lovely bronze tier patrons. Thank you all for all you do for the channel. We greatly appreciate your support. Thank you to our silver tier patron, Cade Silverman. Thank you for going a bit above and beyond. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you to our gold tier patron, Amr. You're awesome. We love you. Thank you for something to your ultimate tier anyway. If you all want to get your names and credits, get access to not safe for more contents as little as $5. Alrighty, I love you all, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye